Once upon a time, in a faraway land, there lived a man and his wife in a small town called Osan. They had two children, a boy and a girl. The boy was called Jude and the girl Margaret. Jude was 13 years old while Margaret was 11 years old. They were so much loved by their parents that neighbors often used them to give good examples in the community. But from the way they lived in the house, it was not obvious that all was not as good as it seemed. Margaret was more loved by her mother and Jude more loved by his father. Their mother saw Jude in a different light and that was him taking the attention of their father away from herself and Margaret, despite the fact that the boy did nothing of such. So she will often instigate Margaret against her brother. Jude was in primary six. While Margaret was in primary five in the same school, not very far from where they lived with their parents. So it's happened that things were going differently. Each time their mother goes to the market, she would always buy gifts for Margaret but will not buy any for Jude. Their father noticed it and this made him very sad and he started to buy things for Jude each time he came back home from work. One day, he bought him a nice shiny ring that fitted one of his left fingers so much that his mother and Margaret became furious and jealous, forgetting that they started it all. Anytime Jude's father was on the way back home, Jude would usually go to the road junction to welcome his father. His father became used to this attitude and was always happy each time he came to welcome him back home. He would hug his son as soon as he sighted him and give him the gift he had brought back with him. The gifts were often admirable ones and this continued to make his wife and daughter jealous. The two would stay at home gossiping about father and son as though they were enemies. One day, Margaret felt so bad about the entire issue that she complained to her mother. Mother and daughter could not control their emotions anymore. Margaret's mother instigated her so much that she said angrily, I'm going to kill Jude. He's taking what dad would have been giving to me. And I don't like it, mother. Her mother consoled her and they conspired wickedly to kill Jude out of envy. One Wednesday morning, when they were about to go to school, their mother said, Jude, when it's time for break, please come back home. There is a little work you have to do for me. Yes, mother, I'll come to the house during break. With that, they left for school. Without his knowing the evil plan on his mother's mind. At break time, Jude left school and returned home as promised to help his mother. He entered the house and called out to his mom. Mother, mother, where are you? I'm home. His mother had placed her husband's cup on the floor as a trap for Jude, knowing fully well that he would pick it up when he sees it. Come this way, Jude, his mother replied, directing him towards the cup while she was hiding behind her curtain, very close. He walked towards where his mother's voice was coming from. He saw his father's cup on the floor, bent down to retrieve it. Immediately, the pistol of a mortar descended on his head with a great crash, and he fell down on the floor and died. She came out of hiding. Stupid boy, come and collect gifts and him again, idiot. She said and started laughing happily. You could not tell. If you see her, you wonder if this woman was actually the mother of Jude. Her face was contorted with anger, hatred for the boy. He cut the boy into pieces and used him to prepare a palatable meal of rice and stew. You could hear, you could smell it from a very far distance. 
the aroma of the food. When Margaret returned from school, she did not bother to ask her mother about Jude because she had already known what had happened. Her mother served her a full plate of rice and stew, and she sat down and ate it all up, enjoying the meat, which, the, which is the flesh of the brother. They cleaned the house and cleared off all evidence of what had happened. In the evening, when their father returned home, he was surprised. Jude was not at the junction to welcome him. Instead, it was Margaret that welcomed him at the door. Where is Jude, my son? He asked, looking about him. He was not happy for not seeing his son. He has not returned from school since morning, his wife replied. He must still be playing football, I'm sure. But that's unlike him. He replied, he has never missed welcoming me back home from work any day. Give me the gift, father. Since Jude is not here, I'm the one that welcomed you. With that, Margaret collected Jude's gift from her father with happiness and a huge smile on her face. They served him food and he ate. The food was so sweet that he asked his wife what she used in cooking the food. As he was eating the meat, he picked up a part of it that looked like a finger. He, picked, he turned, looked at it left and right and realized it looked like there was a ring there that looked like the one he had given to his son. What's this? He asked his wife. This looks like Jude's ring. She waved his words off and diverted the matter. He kept quiet and not suspecting that something was wrong. When he was through eating, it was almost dark. Margaret packed all the bones from the meat and threw them away under the apple tree at the front of their house. Their father became extremely worried about Jude's absence from the house because it was now getting late. He couldn't conduct himself no more. And he went out of the house in search for him. He searched the school compound, the streets and the bushes, but he could not find him. And he, uh, he went back home to ask his wife once more. Instead, Margaret and her mother started to cry. It was obvious they were feeling for, for him. They pretended that they were worried. They could not find him the whole day and their father managed to sleep that night. The next morning, as their father was about to wash his face beside the apple tree so that he would go back and start looking for him, he heard a voice singing. He heard a voice singing. Mother killed and father ate my flesh. Sister Margaret swept my bones and laid them on the apple tree, apple tree, pretty, pretty. I am a pretty boy, pretty, pretty. I am a pretty boy. If I not turned immediately and said, ah, is that no Jude's voice? He started searching for Jude. Hey, it was Jude is around. He was his face brightened. He started looking around, but he could not see Jude. He heard the song again. Mother killed and father ate my flesh. Sister Margaret swept my bones and laid them on the apple tree. Apple tree, pretty, pretty. I am a pretty boy. Pretty, pretty. I am a pretty boy. Is that no Jude's voice I'm hearing? He exclaimed, searching the whole place. But alas, there was no one there. He called the neighbors and together they searched the place only to discover that the song was coming from the bones under the apple tree. They listened carefully and got the hinge of everything from the song the boy was. Mother killed and father ate my flesh. Sister Margaret swept my bones and laid them on the apple tree, apple tree, pretty, pretty. I am a pretty boy, pretty, pretty. I am a pretty boy. Ah, the neighbors were shocked. The father of Jude was shocked. What? Mother killed. Margaret, father ate my flesh. And Margaret swept the bones and laid them on the apple tree. Immediately, 
Margaret's mother was rounded up and interrogated. The secret became exposed and his wife was arrested. She was banished shamefully out of the kingdom, out of the town, and Margaret with her. Jude's father picked up Jude's bones, wrapped them up in a white cloth, and gave him a befitting burial. He went out after so much months and years of cry to marry another woman. The woman was a very kind one. She made a monument of Jude in front of their house to immortalize his name. She later had five children for Jude's father and took good care of him until their old age. That is the end of the story. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel so that when I release a new video, you'll be one of the first to get it. Bye.